वेलकम टू द सेशन फाइव ऑफ यूनिट वन इन डिजिटल सिग्नल प्रोसेसिंग इन दिस सेशन वी विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द एनालिटिकल ट्रीटमेंट ऑन सैम्पलिंग ऑफ एंड ऑफ सिग्नल्स लेट इज कंसिडर द केस वन विद सिग्नल ऑफ टेन हर्ट्स फ्रीक्वेंसी लेट इज राइट द सिग्नल इन द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर्म एज x of t is equal to a sin of 2 pi f t as the signal is having frequency 10 hertz we can replace capital f with 10 so the equation becomes a sin of 2 pi 10 t when the signal is sampled with 100 hertz sampling frequency we can write discrete time signal as x of n t s equal to a sin of 2 pi capital f n t s we have to replace small t with n t s when we are going from analog signal to discrete time signal so that is why we have written the expression as x of n t s equal to a sin of 2 pi f n t s we have replaced this small t with the n Ts. So we can put on the values now. A sine of two pi capital F. It is ten hertz. N and Ts. Fs is hundred hertz. So Ts would be one upon hundred. So we can write finally as x of n Ts equal to a sine of two pi into ten into n into one upon Fs. That is one upon hundred. So we can simplify it, and we can write it as a sine of two pi, one by ten n. Hence, the discrete frequency f here we are getting is one by ten, where small f is the discrete frequency, and capital F is the analog frequency. As small f is equal to one upon ten. We can decode the ten hertz signal from the sample version. Let us consider the case two with a signal of ninety hertz frequency. Let us write the ninety hertz frequency signal with the help of the expression as x of t equal to a sine of two pi capital F t. The value of capital F is ninety hertz. So I can write it as a sine of two pi into ninety into t. Now, when the signal is sampled with hundred hertz sampling frequency, we can write its discrete time version as x of n t s equal to a sine of two pi f n t s. Same, this small t is replaced with n t s because we are converting the analog signal into the Discrete signal. So x of n t s is equal to a sine of two pi capital F n t s. We can put down the values here. Capital F is ninety hertz, so capital F will be replaced with ninety. N t s sampling frequency is hundred hertz, so t s its value becomes one upon hundred. So we can have the signal as x of n t s equal to a sine of two pi ninety into n into one upon hundred. So we can simplify the expression, and we can write it in the simplified form as a sine of two pi nine by ten n. Here, this nine by ten can be written as one minus one upon ten. Again, I can simplify it, and I can write a sine of two pi minus two pi by ten n. And as and as we know that sine of two pi minus theta would be equal to sine of minus theta or minus sine theta. So using that identity, I can write a sine of minus two pi by ten n. So ultimately, I can write minus a sine of two pi by ten n. So hence, the discrete frequency f here is minus one by ten. As the sine is negative, I am getting one eight degree phase shift. Means here, ninety hertz signal gets aliased as Ten hertz with one hundred degree phase shift. 
Let us try to understand this treatment with the help of the example. So the example is analog signal is represented as this expression given for the analog signal x of t equal to 3 cosine of 50 pi t plus 2 sine of 300 pi t minus 4 cosine of 100 pi t. The example is what is the sampling rate? If the signal is sampled with the sampling frequency 200 hertz, what will be the discrete time signal obtained after sampling? What will be the required signal? So this is the numerical given and we'll try to solve this. Given signal is x of t equal to 3 cosine of 50 pi t plus 2 sine of 300 pi t minus 4 cosine of 100 pi t. We can split it to the bracket terms and we can write it in the standard form like 2 pi f t. So I can write x of t equal to 3 cosine of 50 pi, I can write it as 2 pi into 25. 300 pi, I can write it in terms of 2 pi into 150. And 100 pi, I can write it as 2 pi into 50. So by observing this equation, I can come to know that the given signal contains three frequencies. First is 25, second is 150, and third is 50 hertz. So my given signal contains the three frequencies as 25, 150, and 50 hertz. So the first question is, what is Nyquist rate? So the recommended sampling rate is the maximum frequency multiplied by 2, that is maximum frequency is 150, so it is 150 into 2, that is 300 hertz. So the recommended sampling rate is 300 hertz. But what is given in the numerical is, sampling frequency given is the 200 hertz. So the sampling frequency given in the example is 200 hertz. Now, next is what? What is what will be the discrete time signal obtained after sampling? So the discrete time signal can be given by substituting t equal to n t s. So I can put I can substitute n t s instead of this small t. So I can replace all small t's with n t s. So I can write the expression same expression as x of n t s is equal to three cosine of two pi twenty five. T will be replaced with and Ts and Ts is equal to 1 upon Fs, Fs is 200 hertz. So this T will be replaced with n upon Fs, that is n upon 200. Similarly, this T will be replaced with n upon 200. Similarly, this T will be replaced with n upon 200. So I can simplify it, I can cross move. I can cancel out these two terms like 1 by 8. I can cancel out this as 3 by 4. I can cancel out this as 1 by 4. So I can simplify the expressions. I can write it in this way. So it is pi by 4. I will keep it as it is. It is 3 pi by 2. So this 3 pi by 2, I will write it as 2 pi minus pi by 2. And this pi by 2 will remain as it is. If it is 2 pi minus pi by 2, means it is again sine of 2 pi minus theta. So it is like sine of minus theta, means it is minus sine of theta. So that I can write here. So here I have written as minus 2 sine of pi by 2 n. Again we can write in terms of the standard form like 2 pi f n. So pi by 4 I can write it as 2 pi upon 8. This pi by 2 I can write it as 2 pi 1 by 4. This pi by 2 I can write it as 2 pi into 1 by 4. So if this is the standard form I'll just bring, yeah, I'll just bring up that previous equation here. The same equation is here, 2 pi into 1 by 8, 2 pi into minus 1 by 4, 2 pi into 1 by 4. So you can observe that the recovered frequencies are, it is 2 pi fn, so f1 is equal to 1 by 8 here. So if it's f1 is equal to 1 by 8, so capital F1, so this is my analog frequency. So F capital F1 is equal to what? Small F1 into Fs. Small F1 is how much? 1 by 8. Multiplied by Fs is 200. So ultimately I am getting 25 hertz. Okay, so this is the first record. So first original frequency was 25 hertz and record frequency is also 25 hertz. So it is record. Now 
Similarly, let us consider the third case, 2 pi fn. So here f3 is equal to 1 by 4. So it is f3 equal to 1 by 4. So as similar to the first case, I can find out capital F3, capital F3 is equal to small f3 into fs. Small f3 is how much? 1 by 4. So 1 by 4 into 200. So it becomes 50 hertz. So again, you can observe here that it is the third component, 100 pi t means it's frequency was 50 hertz and the 50, 50 hertz frequency was is Rico. Now, for the second case, it is F2, 2 pi into minus 1 by 4 n. So F2 is equal to minus 1 by 4. So capital F2 would be equal to small F2 into Fs. So 1 by 4 into 200, it is equal to 50 hertz. And as it is have negative sign, it is with the 180 degree phase shift. But if you observe here the second uh, term in the given signal, that is 300 pi t means its frequency was 150 hertz, but the record frequency is 50 hertz. Okay, so what we can conclude is this 150 hertz signal gets aliased as 50 hertz with 180 degree phase. So what we can conclude here is the record signal has two frequencies 25 hertz and 50 hertz whereas the original signal had three frequencies 25 hertz 50 hertz and 150 hertz that's it for the today's session in the next session we will try to understand representation of signals as a vector.